Hi, she was seven. I'm back. Okay, so today's video topic is if y'all hear something in the back, it's my kids. But today's video topic is indecisiveness. Is this holding you back? Is indecisiveness holding you back from getting to where you want to be in life, in a relationship, at work, whatever? Um, and a lot of people suffer from not being able to make a decision or not being able to choose or make a choice without asking someone else their opinion. Now, I don't, you know, I'm not bashing anyone, but I'm saying if you want to be in control of your own life, you're going to have to start making your own decisions. And when I say that, I mean, you have to think about things that you truly want. You have to know what you truly want. You have to write it down. You have to understand it. You have to really believe it. And you have to manifest it. Don't ask other people what they want for you. Don't ask other people what they think you should be doing. Don't ask other people what you think, what they think you should try or, you know, become or follow. Don't ask anyone else because they don't know what's best for you. Only you know what's best for you. And a lot of people get in trouble and a lot of people have gotten in trouble recently because, because they follow people. They follow the leader and the leader will lead them astray eventually because nobody's perfect. That's why you become a leader yourself. And it's not to create other followers, followers. it's to create other leaders. So if you're following someone and if someone is teaching you and you're a follower and they're a leader, then they're not creating what they're supposed to be creating by being a leader. They're supposed to be creating more leaders not people that don't know what to do if someone can't tell them. No, you need to follow your own mind, your own heart, your own spirit, and you need to stop asking other people what to do because it's your life, okay? Um, like recently in, you know, the conscious community, you know, this guy, Umar, he got, you know, caught up exposed and now people are like oh my goodness you know he's just a man and if you're following any man chances are that man is following a woman <laughs> so that's why i say don't put your faith in someone put it in yourself put it in yourself do your own research read your own books Go look at the bookstore and see what calls out to you. Don't ask other people, what should I read? Because they could give you some crazy stuff to read, okay? And take you on a whole nother path that was not ever meant for you, okay? So go to the bookstore, look around, go to Amazon.com, scroll through, see what calls out to you. Don't just take other people's word for something. Because I could be telling you the giant is, you know, the biggest lie ever. And you're so thirsty for knowledge, but you're not seeking it for yourself. You're so thirsty for something, but you don't want it enough, bad enough to go get it yourself. So I can give you anything. So I don't create followers. I don't create people who, you know, need somebody to tell them every step of their life. I want to create thinkers. I want to teach you how to think. I don't want to let people, you know, not have a choice because that's not right. I give my kids choices. Everything in life that I offer my children, I give them a choice. Like, what do you want for breakfast? You want this. You want that. What do you want for dinner? What do you want, you know, where do you want to go today? I give them a choice because they always know that they have the right to choose. And they're not just being told what to do like robots, okay? They can go out into the world and interact with people. And when someone gives them something, they know that there's always another option. That they don't have to take that, okay? Like I always quote Michael Jackson. He says in the song, Leave Me Alone. There's a choice that you make and a choice you will take. Think about that. So, and also, you know, they say that 90% of the things that's in our mind and that we think and say, we're not 
from us. It didn't originate in our in our brain. It originated by someone else telling us something. It's not an original thought, okay? So, get to knowing yourself, you know. Know thyself. Make decisions. If you have trouble making this decision, get a planner, get a journal, write down what you want, write down what you're going to do that day and stick to it. Don't let other people influence it. Okay? A lot of people get taken advantage of in the, those type of situations that they can't make decisions of easily. And, you know, they get on uh, this victim mentality. But people cannot help but to take advantage of people that cannot make a decision. Because if you're not going to make your own decision and you expect someone else to, they're going to make the decision they really want, not what's best for you. They don't have your best interest in mind at all, okay? So know thyself. Um, look within for all your answers. Look out for what sticks out to you. Don't ask everybody this because a true seeker of knowledge will seek it themselves. Part of the, the whole journey of knowledge and consciousness is seeking it yourself.